What's up everyone? My name is Abby. I like to read and I haven't filmed a video since uh, December 21st. So a little update in my life. I bought a horse and um, his name is Brock. I will insert a picture right here. He is adorable and I love him and I've been spending like every day all day with him since I got him. But anyways, that's just kind of what's been going with me. Um, Today, I'm going to be unboxing the December Dreamy Box. I got this in January. They sent it out, like, a little late, understandably, because, you know, Christmas time, everything was delayed. But this is a very exciting box because it is the Jennifer L. Armitrout box. And if you've been watching my channel recently, um, you'll know that I've been buying or rebuying all of Jennifer L. Armentrout's books, like, physical copies of them so I can read them and tap them because I like to reread my favorite books and those are some of my favorite books. So I'm excited to see what is in this box. So the spoiler card says the world of Jennifer L. Armentrout and it is the December dreamy box. So the first thing in here is looks like a pillowcase. And it says, I was always able to lose myself in reading. Books were a necessary escape. I always gladly jumped into head first. Jennifer L. Armitrout. I think this is from um, the Lux, Luxon, Lux, Luxon series, Lux series. Um, because Kat is a big reader and she actually has like a reading blog, which is really cool. Yeah, this is the Lux Series Throw Pillow Cover by At Dreamy Co. The next thing is this little case. I don't know what it's case for. Um, but it says, I lost myself the moment I found you. Jennifer Lamentrout. What is that from? Oh, there's a snake on it. So I'm guessing that... What is that? I don't know. Wait, I'm getting my series confused. Oh, it's the Dark Elements. I don't remember what the snake was. Does it- wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Someone has a snake tattoo, right? Is his name Bambi? Her name? Is her name Bambi? Am I getting this wrong? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong. Um, but this is a coin purse. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. You know what? I think instead of using this as a coin purse, because I don't really, you know, get coins. I think I'm going to put my earphones in here because I'm always losing them. So this will help me keep track of them. And this is designed by at Jimmy and Co. Were all of these designed by at Jimmy and Co? You know what? If I don't say the artist, because I'm tired of saying at Jimmy and Co. If I don't say the artist, um, then assume it's at Jimmy and Co. Because they do a lot of their own designs. So if it's a different artist, I'll let you know. The next thing is, of course, the candle, um, which is Flick the Wick, which is, I'm pretty sure, owned by Dreamy & Co. Um, what is this scent? This is sandalwood, lime, bergamot, and musk. Okay, so I think this is, like, designed after or inspired by Damon. Um, because it's Luxon, and then it's all these, like, musky scents. It's very, very subtle, um, and it's just white, but is I'm not getting a ton of scent from it, which might actually be nice. A lot of my candles are just in your face, and so um, I think it'd be nice to have like a subtle candle. The next thing is the pen. So it looks like this, and I think it's from Blood on Ash because there's a sword, and I don't think any of her other series have swords. Mm -hmm. Um, and it says, oh yeah, definitely. It says, you're an absolutely stunning, murderous little creature. Okay, that's definitely from, from Blood and Ash. Um, I like this pen. I think the, the script on it is really pretty and it's very subtle. And I like how it's in like a ribbon and then it has a sword going through, going through it. I like this better than a lot of their pens. The colors are also really nice too. A lot of times their colors just don't seem to go together when they have on the pin. They have like just a bunch of weird colors on there, but I really like these colors together. And that pin was designed by Azura.Arts. The next thing we have a coaster. 
and it says, I was brave and I had my entire life to be brave. Some of that from the the Wicked series. Yes, a Wicked trilogy wooden coaster. I don't remember that series at all. I know I read it, but I don't remember what it's about. I need to reread it because there is a movie coming out, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't remember that quote at all. All right, the next things are the bookmarks. One thing about their bookmarks um, is they all kind of look the same. They all have, like, a lighter side, like this color, and then a darker color, and then this, like, it, it seems like the only difference is the quote, and I'm sure there's, like, differences in the art, but they all are designed very similarly, um, so that's not my favorite. I would like to have a little bit more variety in the bookmarks, like, the, the design of them. But this one says, beautiful face, a beautiful body, a horrible attitude. It was the holy trinity of hot boys. Okay, I feel like this is another uh, Lux series, and that's talking about Damon, because that describes him pretty well. Um, and then in the back says, your life isn't about all you can't do, it's about what you can do. Hmm. Is that from Blood and Ash, maybe? So this is the wooden bookmark... Um, okay, so one of them is the Lux series, which I'm assuming is this one, and the other one is the Dark Element series. And then we have the um, Sturdy Bookmark. Um, this says, it's just words, and words mean nothing, only action does. I don't know what that one is yet. Um, this one says, fear and bravery are often one and the same. It either makes you a warrior or a coward. The only difference is the person it resides inside. I think this one's the Blood and Ash side, and then this one is the Covenant side. But I do really like this one. It's really pretty. All right, and the last thing is the art prints. I'll do the quote one first. This one is um, designed by Dream Co. Um, and it's a Covenant series quote, and it says, I guess there were two types of people in the world, those who sat around a fire staring into the flames and those who started the fire. I do really like this art. I love the like fire watercolor around it with the flowers. And then we have the art print and this is from from Blood Nash. Um, there's Poppy and Hawk and um, the art is by Dominique Wesson and it is so pretty. Although one thing um, I've noticed about all the arts of Poppy is they really, like, make her scar super small and not noticeable. And I think in the book, like, the whole thing is that she has this really big scar and people, like, look at her and, like, they notice it really well. And I feel like they are, like, I don't think you should try to downplay the scar. Like, I think you should draw it how it was described. Um, and... You know, it's not it's not making her any less beautiful if you draw her scar the way that it was in the book. Um, but she is, you know, beautiful. And then Hawk is, you know, gorgeous. So <laughs> I do like this art print. Oh, and there's a little horse right there. That's cute. I like that. So that is it for this unboxing. I think my favorite item... Um, I think it was the pen. I'm just... I'm just a sucker for pens. I'm really excited to put it uh, once again on my pen banner. I'm running out of room. Um, <laughs> but I do like this pen a lot. And I just like the quote. I think it's funny. Um, so that is it for this unboxing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite item in this box. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I was always able to lose myself in reading books. No, no. Periods are important. Periods are important. I was all. <laughs>